Hello everybody, welcome back to another Unique Rare Apparel Location Guide here on Fallout 4. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Steadfast Brotherhood of Steel Combat Armor Chest Piece. Now that is a huge tongue twister. Uh, so to do this you're going to need to uh, come to the Pride Wen and talk to Kells, the captain, um, who will give you a mission eventually in the Brotherhood of Steel quest lines called the Lost Patrol where you've got to go and search for the recon team. Now this will give you three uh, locations. Uh, you've got to tune into a distress signal uh, and then just follow the uh, the signal strength until you come across these uh, three fallen uh, Brotherhood of Steel members. So the first one is called Knight Varnum. Uh, and what you've got to do is just basically, you can loot the bodies, but you've got to pick up a holotape and uh, pick up the tags as well. It'll help you further down in the quest. Um, but you basically just got to uh, pick up their hollow tapes and listen to them and the first and the second one will give you uh, the clues to the next one basically uh, so here's the second one um, Knight Astelin go ahead and pick that up once again listen to the hollow tape and then it will bring you to this third location right here in this shack with a load of super mutants that you got to kill and uh, this is Scribe Faris listen to his hollow tape and uh, that will point you in the direction <coughs> of Recon Bunker now I found this on the first day of Fallout and wanted to know how to get to it and now I know. So uh, once you get to Recon Bunker Theta, you've uh, basically, without trying to spoil too much, you've basically got to see a guy who uh, who you're supposed to be hunting down for for the depths of these guys or whatever. Turns out that it's, uh, it's not really his fault but I recommend saving it right here when you first go in because you need to pass three speech tests and they get harder every single time. So go ahead and talk to Brandis um, and give him the holotags. Try and stay nice to him as much as you can. He will tell you a story. It's long-winded, uh, but eventually, uh, as you'll see in a second, you're going to need to uh, to do the speech test. So you've basically got to uh, convince him to rejoin the Brotherhood. So luckily I've got a very high charisma, so I pass these with flying colours. But like I said, just save it beforehand. Rejoin the Brotherhood, rejoin the Brotherhood. Uh, just keep saying that until he uh, eventually agrees. Uh, so final time, rejoin the Brotherhood and then uh, he finally agrees. Um, you can just kill him for his unique weapon as well uh, if you want, but you will not get this chest piece. You've got to get him to come back to the Pride Wren. And as you can see, going ahead and talking to uh, Kells, turning it in will give you the Steadfast Brotherhood of Steel Combat Armor chest piece, which grants increasing energy and damage resistance the lower your health, up to plus 35. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That is uh, that is basically how it's done. Now that is a I've shrunk that down a lot because that is really quite a long mission. I mean, just searching for these guys on the uh, the distress signal takes a while in itself. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you don't convince him to come back to the Pride Wren, you uh, you won't be able to get this. Um, but you uh, you can kill him for his unique uh, gun as well that he will drop, which I will do in a separate guide. But again, if you convince him to come back to the Pride Dren, uh, you, he will give you his gun anyway. So either way, you're going to get that. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is how to get the Steadfast Brotherhood of Steel Combat Armor Chess Piece uh, from the old captain of the Pride Wren uh, here. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is basically all there is to it. It's got a 37 and 37 and 15 damage resist. A weight of 15. It's very heavy. Value of 460. And uh, not many mods on it at all, really. But uh, yeah, go ahead and equip that and uh, have a look how good it looks. But uh, yeah, there you go. There is uh, just me wearing it and uh, obviously me nice white pants. Uh, for some reason it wouldn't let me uh, go round. I can't remember how to work the cameras. I'm not very good at this. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like anyway from the back. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you guys in the next one.